Hello everyone, this is John from Durgens. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe because I'm posting almost every week videos about photography, behind the scenes video, uh, a bit about gear. Uh, although I don't do uh, gear reviews, uh, like technical uh, gear reviews, because I don't like that much. But if I like a camera, I will show it to you and I will just give it a try. I will test it maybe and uh, we'll do some nice fun shoots and also some behind the scenes uh, of weddings um, and uh, of course how I shoot and with what kind of gear I shoot and so on. Well, in this video, this is a kind of a different series of videos that I want to show you and uh, stick around because there will be a few more up to come so here is my behind the scene of uh, a video that I shoot yeah a few uh, days ago it's uh, shooting how I shoot a baby nursery room setup this is what I'm shooting today it's a baby room a complete baby room so I will set up also that lights the four lights setting them all over this setup all over here it's uh, really messy but here it's a baby room it's a complete cozy baby room I will place a light right on this window without softbox so create a harsh light uh, and makes uh, looks like uh, light coming from outside the window which will create also some nice strikes and also I will place another light right behind here where it's just empty so we can light this part here and a bit of the wardrobe so yeah and the other light I'll place it right bouncing on this wall to fill up this area here because I don't want a really harsh light. The way I shoot those setups is I take three, four flashes, depends on how, what look I want to achieve, but mostly uh, because I have some windows in the back of uh, the room and some windows on the sides. So if you want to shoot those kind of uh, setups, you have to have at least one or two windows to create that, uh, natural look. I do also shoot a light from really above the setup which is a boom stand with a, a large softbox and uh, I use that for uh, fill up a little bit the, uh, the room. Now those rooms are made from uh, wood and uh, they are actually really easy to install and to move around uh, and you can paint them any color you want. You can place a wallpaper on them and you can decorate them as you want. Now to achieve the best of those kind of setups, you have to work with some stylist. And I'm lucky enough to work with one of the best stylists, Hanika and Marion. Maybe you can check their Instagram because they have really nice work done with uh, styling. Okay, clear, hello. And those are my amazing stylists, Marion and Hanika. Look at this. Hey, hello. I usually start with a 50 millimeter, and sometimes I might start with that, and sometimes I might really end with that. And it depends on the uh, on the details and uh, the way the room looks and uh, the. It's also about the space that you have behind you because sometimes you have to move a little bit far away to shoot a, a wider scene. So for, for those kind of uh, shoots, I recommend you to shoot with a 50 millimeter and sometimes when you don't have enough space to back up, you may use a 35, which is a pretty uh, good focal length for uh, those shoots. I start with my settings around F. 10 f9 depends on the power on uh, on the flashes 
So I start on F10 with the 1 25th of a second with ISO 100 so I can have the cleanest uh, and the best quality possible. And then I adjust the flashes according to the look I want to achieve. Mostly I put, I overpower the, the flashes that uh, sits front light or uh, behind the, the walls or side light. So the first shot is on tripod mostly and I try to take a wide shot. Now in this wide shot, I might move some stuff around and my uh, stylist, they're always there to help me uh, arrange stuff and some, if something doesn't work, then we change it and we move it a bit around. And uh, yeah, you have to, you just have to experiment because it's not always the same. So the way we do it, we just set up the camera on a tripod on the first shot. Uh, we take a wide shot, we see if the light is good enough and then we start uh, to move things around or maybe restyle some stuff to just look perfect in the camera. After I shoot on a tripod, I take the camera and I shoot handheld. And uh, what I like to do is shoot in portrait mode and make different crops because that will help to tell a different story at different angles. And I might move a bit to uh, 25 degrees to the left or to the right to create some uh, different shots. And uh, yeah, I think this was a really nice setup and I really like to shoot this setup. And of course, I do have more setups like this. They are coming, just stay tuned guys. Now this setup is built in a big uh, deposit where you have to kill the ambient light if you want to work with the flash and to create that kind of uh, natural light look. So it's not always easy to create the natural look of the light with flashes, but when you start practicing and you place your lights uh, not really from the front uh, view of the camera, a bit to the side, uh, backlight and just fill a bit with uh, a front light or from a really, really above light, then it will create this beautiful uh, light that will not look like it's shoot with the flash. The, the idea of this room is just to look like it's been shot in a really baby room setup uh, where it uh, yeah, looks really cozy. Uh, you have some light there, you have the baby beds, uh, and all the stuff that uh, a room, a baby room could have, you know. Now, all those products that you see in this room are for sale. So, um, it's pretty nice that when you do a setup like this, is actually showing all the products that can be sold. And uh, for this, I take some really close up uh, shots, like detailed shots that when you put them into a magazine or you want to make a kind of editorial or a spread in a magazine, you can actually build a story and you can make it look even nicer with a lot of details. So you're going to have at the end the final shot, uh, which will show the entire room and then some uh, pretty close up that can actually tell the story of this room. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.